Hi, Lee Phillips here. I'm an attorney, don't hold that against me, okay? I want to talk about self-proving wills for a minute. What's a self-proving will? A will is what you write down to describe your wishes after you die. You're a testator. You die testate, you die with a will. You die intestate, which is another YouTube video, then you die without the will. And you get certain things at that point. Die with the will. Okay? Write out a will. You want your will to stand up in court. Howard Hughes uh, had 32 some odd wills. They never did find one of those to be the real thing and they litigated a half a dozen of them. And uh, Howard Hughes had a big estate and it took literally 30 plus years to probate his estate and he kept entire law firms busy probating his estate. Ah, he loved the legal stuff. But you want the will to stand up in court. All of the wills that they presented were never witnessed. If we have witnesses, it's a formal will. If the witnesses' signatures are notarized, then it's called a self-proving will. Usually the notary will actually notarize your signature and the witness's signatures. What that means is, is when we get into court, we don't have to drag the witnesses into court to say, yep, we signed, sign it, he was in good condition, he was over 18, he had the ability to make the will, all this and that and the other. We will have a self-proving for provision which says that you stated to the witnesses that you were over 18 of sound mind. Nobody was forcing you to make out the will. Uh, you understood that it was a will that you were signing. So you make this statement and state law has those provisions in the statements and they're a little different state to state. Use California's. California has more law than anybody else, about twice as much. Uh, so if you make the statement, have it witnessed, and then have the witnesses signatures notarized, when you get into court we don't have to drag the witnesses in to have them say we saw him and everything else. The notary acts as the state's witness that the witnesses actually did see the individual, sign the will, that he made the statement, and that everything's cool. So the court will then accept that will. It's self-proving. It proved itself. The court will accept that will without further proof. Now it doesn't mean that the court's going to use that will because we could come up with another will that could be self-proving even. And then the court's got to make the decision as to which will they're going to use. Usually it's the latest one that they use. But the self-proving provision cuts through a lot of garbage when you get into court and the court looks at it and says, yep, no more wills, that's it. It's proven to be a good will. This is Lee Phillips talking about self-proving wills.